and then onwards to whoever you want. So you can get these PDFs off the off the app. Um, hand washing. Um, you know, we all know that the, the you know it's a big issue, or the kind of especially with the you know MRSA and all these kind of things. We need to be careful with that. We thought we were going to have to shoot a video on hand washing. But it turns out that the University of Leicester Department of Nursing already have that video. Um, it's on YouTube, um, but it's now on this app as well. Um, we're not stealing their stuff, this is just linked straight to YouTube. Right? And she's, she's got an endless amount of stuff to tell you. Five and a half minutes on how to wash your hands. I think if you can't do it by the end of that, then you don't see your doctor. Um, but we all, we, we're very aware of folk like to learn in different ways. So what we've got here is World Health Organization. I've got like pictographic. Same thing. Uh, and if you've still not heard enough about hand washing, if you tap the link next to that pictograph, what you get is a World Health Organization website pages on how to save lives by cleaning your hands. So we've kind of really done that one to death. You know. There shouldn't be a hair worker in Scotland without clean hands now. Um, but we can pull stuff in from all over. So we've got food hygiene information, which comes for the, the Food Standards Agency. Um, and that's a 32 page document. If you really go, if you lose the world of life, you can always jump away from it. Um, so there's, there's massive amounts of stuff in there. This all linked to it, you know, and what we do is we kind of save you the problem when we find this stuff. And because a lot is pulled down live for the web, it means if they update the document, then you get the up-to-date document, which is kind of win-win. And we put this in at the end, which is just a wee quiz, just for a, just for a bit of fun, really. My personal favourite is this one, and I know that looks a bit garish on that screen, but trust me, on the iPad it looks a lot better. Basically, what it says is. Which of the following labels indicates that a container can hold cytotoxic waste? And it says, use your fingertip to scratch through to reveal the answer. So it's a scratch card on an iPad. <laughs> and do you know what the answer is? Everybody's fair to put their hand up now, eh? It's the orange one. Is it going again? <laughs> Sorry, it's me holding Sorry. Here you are. It was the orange one. And you can reset these if you really want, but it'll reset every time you come back to that page. And we did that for a bit of fun, just to see what we could do. What we could have done was had that page hardwired to our servers and have you put in your name and your employee number, answer the questions and then have our servers record your answers and your score. But we're not an employer, so we didn't do that. You know, but employers could do that kind of thing with these kind of apps. This kind of moving and handling one is much the same idea. Um, and that's basically it. That's the health and safety app. Um, and lastly, we did that as a proof of concept. What we've done for the Mobile Knowledge and Learning Solutions project as we have created an app to act almost as setting the scene for the whole project. So getting started with mobile, it's in the same kind of format, same kind of thing. It's got you know a wee bit here that tells you about this page tells you about the project and what it's trying to achieve. I'll let that video get to the end because everybody always wants to see what the person's writing. Price for who knows who said that. Sorry. Tell me and I forget, teach me and I remember, involve me and I learn. It's Benjamin Franklin. So we've got that. This article here is basically the presentation you've just had. You'll notice in the top right there's the Ebbing House curve again, but it's blank. Because what this allows you to do is if you run your finger along the axis, it builds up the actual curve. Again, it's, it's, it's not just a cheap gimmick, it's about getting people to interact with information. Anybody who's got a lot of kinesthetic learners will tell you how they like that. Um, 
Again, lots of pull-out tabs. You can, you know, you can go on the internet and get the GISC article um, about you know, effective practice. And these wee boxes here. This, you know, I did that thing with the four key questions. Well, there, there's the answers to the four key questions. There, you can just scroll through them. Um, and again, we've got those smartphone apps. Um, there's the stats that I had up. 52% of all mobile phones are smartphones, blah, 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 all of them. But what we can also do with this is link to the app store. So you'll see the, the thing in, in blue there saying if you want the health and safety app. So if I tap that now, oh, open an external link, and I say OK, and it takes me to the app store, and I can download and install that health and safety app. Um, and you're doing that from inside another one. Okay, so again, tons of stuff on that. There's the case study about Care Council for Wales produced the smartphone app on codes of practice, and that's all in here. Uh, but the, the other thing we want to do was give you some how to's. So there's more information about using that PlayStation Portable thing, but we also talk you through how to use RSS feeds. I don't want to know what that is because it's in the article and what social group marketing is and how employers can use that to their advantage. And we've given you some examples of apps for using uh, RSS and like I just did with the, the PlayStation thing, you can go on, sorry, the health and safety one, you can come here and it'll actually take you straight to the app so you can download it. Um, a wee caveat is some of them are free and some of them cost. Again, we've got loads of video embedded in here. Um, what is social bookmarking for folk don't know? It brings up the bit of Wikipedia article that tells you what that is. But basically, RSS and social bookmarking are a good way for employers to a broadcast information to staff and also um, make sure that everyone's using the same resources. So, tons and tons of stuff here. How to podcast. Uh, how to use blogging for reflective learning, um, safe use of social media, um, but a few bits and pieces. <coughs> like, you know, how many folk realise that iTunes is a massive learning resource? Did folk know that? No? There's tons and tons of material, including video, audio, ebooks, all kinds of stuff. Um, <coughs> The other thing was that I, I had no idea this was possible is that I thought iTunes U was just for higher education and colleges. They've opened it up to corporates like you know any public sector body where you can deliver courses on iTunes U. And you can make them either public or private. But here's the real the, the, the really cool thing about it is you can use other folks' resources on iTunes U to include them in your course. So if there's videos on the OU pages that you want to use, you link to them. If there's apps that you want students to use, you link to them. Uh, and helpfully, um, Apple provide a guide to how to deliver courses using iTunes U. So if you're a small organisation that can't you afford a big learning management system, or you do have that, but you want to put some stuff at the other side of the firewall for the folk who might be interested in learning at home as an option. You can do that using iTunes U. It doesn't cost you a penny. It's free. The only time Apple charge you for anything is if you charge the public. So if we sell apps, they take 30%. <coughs> but the apps that we're putting out are all free anyway, so they don't charge us anything. Um, and for folk, I mean, what we've also done here is this big image in the middle is uh, IRIS is the Institute for Research and Innovation in Social Services. It's like the Scottish equivalent of Sky. They have a course on information literacy, which is free, it's online. We've embedded it in here. So that's a link straight to that course. You can do the whole information literacy course and never leave the app. Because that's it now live on the internet. And you can just click through and use that whole course in the app. Um, and for anybody who's wanted to use iPads at work and IT manager, Luke reaches for the garlic and silver bullets. 
like they do in our place. There's a really good PDF here which walks them through how secure it is and how to set up and deploy iPhone and iPad in a business environment. And it takes them through the whole thing about virtual private networks, about how they lock down the iPad, you know, so that you take away things like iTunes and the App Store, how to set up your own corporate App Store that only has the apps on it that you want there. Either that you've bulk licensed or that you've had developed for you. So you can do, it's, it's all in that document. And we, we attach that because folk have often said, I'd love to do this, but on my RIT folk just won't let us. It basically answers all their questions. Right? So that, that's the that's the quick run through of that app. We've got two iPads here and an iPhone. If you want to try some of these things out hands on yourself, hopefully there's time to do that. Yes, there is time to do that. So you've seen uh, this, right? That's all fine, right? I'll turn that on the side, it's now Welsh. Right, and I'll go back to... Oh, sorry, it keeps loosening off there. I'll go back to portrait. And I'll catch up over here. So portrait. Landscape. All the way through the art. If you, if you just encounter the art and you do that, it's all in Welsh. I bet you a caveat. The videos, 90% of the videos are not ours. We've you know, got stuff for IRS and whatever that's been produced by them, for, obviously for an English speaking audience. The budget, is, I mean, this, the other thing is here's, here's the real kicker. That was eight grand. So you can see why we wrote a bilingual video. Right. But eight grand for an app like that is pretty impressive when you can make it. The whole thing by them. The whole app is Welsh and English. I mean, just to prove the point, we'll go back to the, the cover. Um, so the iPad, and, it's, and this is just core functionality. We just exploited the core functionality of that hardware and the software that was used to develop that app. But it just shows you the potential of what you can do. And we have even scratched the surface yet. We are at the very early stages of what we can do with that. But it's got massive potential. So th those are a couple of examples just to get you going. Any other questions? 